welcome back to my channel Mallorca Under the Sun and today I'm going to be telling you why you should be booking your next holiday to Palma Nova. Judging by the amount of views that my Palma Nova videos have got in the past year, I'm guessing that this is one of the most popular tourist resorts here in Mallorca, particularly for British travellers. So let's go and see what all the hype is about. Now Palma Nova primarily has three big beaches and this is why I am guessing everyone wants to come here. Now this is the first beach which is called Escargador and it is on the east side of the resort. Now the walkway that connects these two beaches is just the perfect place to come for a stroll before or after dinner and it just has magnificent views all the way across Palma Nova Bay. Now there's a smaller rockier beach in between the two main sandy beaches and this is really a beach that is very much used by residents um, it's the dog beach down here um, as we call it but it's a place where residents can bring their dogs down and take them for a swim away from anyone visiting the main beaches. So there are some boat trips that you can pick up from Palma Nova itself and particularly if you book the dolphin excursion boat trip if you do book a ticket and there are various places where you can buy tickets for this uh, catamaran tour along the coast you just need to come up onto this walkway in between the two beaches and there's a little pier here which is where you will pick up your boat so the walkway brings you down to the second most glorious sandy beach and this is Palma Nova Beach Now in terms of things for kids to do down here, if you're bringing the family, well there is Golfing Fantasia and that's the main attraction here in the resort, but you're just a few kilometres away from Western Water Park and all the sites and attractions down in Magaluf as well, including the House of Kathmandu and Pirates, should they open during 2022. Now, my advice as well is for families looking for things to do is to really just enjoy the beach area too because not only can you rent the pedalos, um, you can rent paddle boards, but just really make the most of the beach time here because you don't need to plan a hectic programme to keep your kids busy down here in Palma Nova. But don't forget, if you do want to go sightseeing, then you are just a 20 minute bus journey away on the local buses from Palma City Centre. Now you can see on the beach that they have volleyball nets that are up pretty much all of the time and you see a lot of residents coming down here to play volleyball. But there are plenty of deck chairs and beach umbrellas to rent throughout the summer season, going all the way through to the end of October. So if you find during peak season, during July and August, that there are no free sunbeds or beach umbrellas, there's a lovely shaded area here under the pine trees where you can come and get some shade from away from the blazing sunshine. And that'll be for free as well. beach playgrounds down here for small children to help keep them entertained and they're all along um, at various ends of the beaches as well so definitely worth bringing your kids down here.
And further along Palmanova Beach, you have the Inside by Melia, and that's a really lovely beachside hotel, as you can see here. As well as the famous Globale Santa Lucia Hotel, right at the very end of Palmanova Beach. Now just like on Escargador Beach, on the first beach in Palmanova, when you get to Palmanova Beach itself you can still come down here and rent pedalos, as well as the sunbeds and also paddle boards too. And this is just a great spot to come down and chill and re relax. I mean, I'm filming this now in the middle to the end of October, so you can see it's not too busy out here. But I mean, this is just absolutely still the perfect place to come for a holiday. And the walkway continues and just check out the views from this point here I and mean, you can see it's a beautiful October day still busy down here but the water is still turquoise blue and crystal clear okay so if you are wondering where to eat in Palmanova then I have made a series of videos about this subject I'll put the links to the videos in the description text below this video or I will link to them just above here as well now there is so much choice here and of course restaurants are going to come and go as the year goes on but you needn't worry about finding a value for money meal here in the resort Now the walkway then leads down to the third beach here in Palmanova and that is San Matias Beach. Now just like Escargador and Palmanova Beach, San Matias Beach is equally beautiful with powdery white sand and turquoise blue seas. There are also plenty of sunbeds and beach umbrellas to rent. And just like at the other beaches as well, you can rent your pedalos and your paddle boards too. Now just like most of the other beaches down here in Mallorca, you have these boardwalks onto the beach which are perfect for those who have prams or buggies or wheelchairs. And if you are travelling or you are indeed in a wheelchair yourself then there are various um, aids as well that which can help you get into the sea. And these are all by the lifeguard tower down on the middle of San Matias beach. Okay, so in terms of hotels down behind San Matias Beach, you've got the Globalis Santa Lucia as well as the San Matias Beach Hotel. Now the hotels do start to get a little bit bigger down this side of the resort and I'll just jump down here and you can see there's a Fergus Hotel and then there's another selection of hotels like the Alua Hawaii Hotel which is further around the bay and a whole selection too of hotels up in Torre Nova. So don't forget to check my website MallorcaUnderTheSun.com for more information about booking your holiday to Palma Nova. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and join the conversation on my Facebook group also called Mallorca Under The Sun. So if you want to find out more about what the nightlife is like down here in Palma Nova, do click on this video here and check out the links as well in the description text of this video for more information about the resort. Okay everyone, thanks very much for watching and until the next video, goodbye for now.